Hi, my name is Daniel Casey, and today we're going to be looking at uh, digitizing or scanning slot. So if you're like me, you, uh, you've been doing some photography for many years, you may have a collection of slides which you would like to capture digitally. So this is basically a, a very easy uh, project, small project, that you, uh, that you can do this. So the project for sc scanning slides requires the following thing. In my case, I've used a LED pot light, and you can buy them at any hardware store. The one that I purchased was uh, at three different uh, temperature settings, 3000, 4000, and 5000 K. You'll also need your camera and preferably with a macro lens so that you can really zoom in into your slide and capture all of the slide into your camera sensor. And also you will need a tripod to, to uh, to mount your camera. So this is what my device looks like. Uh, here's the pot light that I've built a box so to just to hold the pot light. Uh, the pot light comes with clips, so it's pretty easy. You just uh, do a hole around and then you just clip it inside. It's at 45 angle just for ease of construction. I also have a wooden uh, slide holder that I've cut out. So this is just a little piece of wood to the, to the dimension of the slide. And I'll also put some black electrical tape inside here just to make sure that I don't have any sort of light pollution protruding through and uh, flaring into my, into my lens. This is the tripod and the camera mounted on it. And you just make sure that the camera's at 45 degree angle and you're sort of capable of focusing on your slide. This is another view of the pot light, uh, your wooden slide holder and the slide inside the, the slide holder. Uh, one thing that you may want to do as well is to have your small brush and air device like this one so that you can clean your slides before you uh, photograph them so that you can get rid of some of the particles or some of the dust as much as possible, but you may need to retouch uh, some of these a little bit. So in terms of digitizing slides, here are the settings that I use. Uh, again, I use my pot light and I use it at 5000 K so that I, I'm pretty close to the white balance that I require. So I don't need to do a whole lot of corrections. Again, my camera with my macro lens, I use it in manual mode uh, and also focus manually so that I can look at in my display and uh, see if I'm really focused on the slide because sometimes the slide can be slightly uh, bent uh, and the focus may not be the same for all slides. And the camera settings that I use is f8 to have somewhat of a greater depth of field. So if I'm not, if the slide is not in focus for the, the whole slide, at least you can capture uh, the, the sharpest images you can. And this is the shutter speed that I use to give me the right exposure, but that can vary uh, for, for, for different pot lights that you may have. And the ISO, I tend to use ISO, the lowest ISO that I have on my camera to benefit from the, the greatest sensitivity of your sensor, of your camera sensor. So in my case, it's ISO 100. So this, these are two images that I've taken back in the uh, late 70s, early 80s. And as you can see with these images, uh, the uh, scanned version is pretty good, a lot of clarity, uh, and it, it does capture very well some of the colors. And you can also post process some of these images if you, if you want. So thank you for watching and hopefully this uh, will be helpful for you.